So many of our favorite stories are centered around the food and family that make the holidays so memorable. Like, the time your dad dropped a frozen turkey in the deep fryer and it exploded. Or when the dog ran off with the holiday ham. As Americans enter the holiday season, the Storytellers Project, part of the USA Today Network, is serving up five personal stories for food and family at 4 p.m. PT slash 7 p.m. ET November 19th. The show, which includes celebrity chef Rocco Di Spirito, will stream live at https comma slash slash events dot storytellers project dot com and those who register in advance will get a reminder. Watch, celebrity chefs to share personal stories in virtual event benefiting Feeding America My story is about the lessons I learned from my mother by observing how she conducted herself, said Majida Rashid, who was born in Pakistan and now lives in Houston, Texas, where she works as a freelance journalist and food writer. How she instilled in me to know the people anywhere we live, and make a difference in their life through food and speaking their language. Lorraine Longi, 27, a reporter at the Arizona Republic, said she hopes people will hear her story and relate to, or understand, the blend of pride and anxiety mixed, race kids grow up with in America. Her story is about Chinese New Year and the food and customs she celebrated growing up. My mother is Taiwanese, and my father was raised by a family of New York Italians, so growing up, I always felt I had the best of both worlds food, wise, she said. But I soon realized that my mixed, race heritage, and my mother's traditional Taiwanese foods in particular, weren't something that everyone in my life was interested in learning about or sharing. Food is universal, and it is what connects communities and allows us to build strong ties to people beyond our families and friends, says Jamila Robinson, 47 a food editor for the Philadelphia Inquirer and journalism chair for the James Beard Awards, America's highest food honor. Robinson's story is about her mother, food and a lifelong love of coffee. She couldn't cook, but she had a strong influence on my relationship with food, Robinson said of her mother. At the blog Best Friends for Frosting, influencer Melissa Johnson, 34, of Sacramento, California, celebrates the everyday and the small moments, interactions and insights that make life rich. During this pandemic, I have realized, more than ever, the importance of people who aren't your friends and family who brighten your day. The barista at Starbucks, the cashiers at Target or Home Goods, and the list goes on. Johnson's story is about a full, circle moment. Celebrating a milestone with her son and the warm embrace they received from a retail giant and its dedicated employees. After almost a decade of curating and hosting storytelling shows about food, I've learned so many of these are not stories about food as much as they're about the people we share these meals with, said Megan Finnerty, founder of the Storytellers Project and MC for the November 19 event. Watch, episodes from the Storytellers Project The Storytellers Project, part of the USA Today Network produces shows in 20 cities across the United States, but pivoted to virtual shows in April because of the pandemic. Shows are planned through the end of 2021 featuring a diverse makeup of storytellers sharing true stories based on their personal lives. Tellers work with storytelling coaches and journalists from across the USA Today Network. Learn more and apply to tell a story at https comma slash slash www.storytellersproject.com slash about slash.